Welcome to Bop's Garden. I'm Bop. Today is a beautiful day here in the Northwest Hills in the second week of May. We're in the Northwest Hills of Connecticut and it's time to plant dahlias. We have dahlias from American Meadows here and uh, the planting instructions for these are right on the bag. It's very easy but I want to show you anyway. We're going to plant tuber so we got a one foot square you can see here, and this particular one tells us that we need to plant it at four inches. So you see my trowel here has got numbers on it for the inches. So we go down four inches, and we need to orientate these correctly. So you can see the dahlia starting to sprout out here, and this was the flower stalk from the previous season. So we could just lay these one tuber in this one square foot hole and it shouldn't go too far down below that. We want this at about soil level. They're not planted too deeply. And then we just cover them up and I'm gonna mark this with a stake. Now these will need to be staked later. And I'm on a walkway here which is high traffic. So I don't like to have the stakes out this is why I do it this way, just to mark where I am on this. I also like to plant masses. You could plant one of each two uh, dahlia of a different color, say a white one and then a pink one, but I like to do them in masses. So this particular one, Holly Hill Spider Woman, and it's a cactus dahlia. It's smaller, it's shorter. So that goes near the walkway. So we're about one foot away from here. And then we're going to put a taller dahlia, dinner plate dahlia, in the next hole. So we have something called Snow Country. It's a big white dahlia. And if you're, you're bop, it's Snow Country for old men. So here we go. This only gets planted a couple inches deep. So we're about a foot away. That's about six inches away here. But we can do that as long as this we got a square foot in here. And so we'll orientate this again. We've find where we are here. Here we are. Here's the flower stalk from the previous season. And we just need to go down a couple inches here. We want this two inches below. The level of the soil so we're right about so we're right just a, just underneath the soil level here and we'll cover that up and mark it and I'll just keep on going along in that direction planting masses I like to combine whites and yellows and pinks but you can do whatever you like we have some of the smaller ball cactus uh, the cactus dahlias and the ball dahlias and um, we'll have a, a large variety. And at some point, we're going to do a series called the follow-up series. And you're going to see this growing. And then you're going to see how this turns out and when it blooms. Now, we do put down, we have some rabbits here. And they like the young foliage on these uh, tubers when they first start coming up. So we have a product that we put down that deters rabbits. It's very effective. It's organic. Um, and it uh, actually helps to fertilize the area. We've already mixed in compost here. And then we will also fertilize throughout the season with a, a proportional feeder. It's a foliar feeder that m meters out the uh, fertilizer as, through a hose. And that gives us uh, extra fertilizer for these because they are heavy feeders. So we'll do that once a month throughout the growing season. And then these will last all the way until frost. Now, once the frost comes, um, you can dig these up again, dry them out in a uh, cool, dry place, store them out, get the, as much soil off as possible, and they can be stored in dry peat moss or sawdust, and then they can be reused the following season. Uh, for my business, uh, we don't uh, do that. Uh, it's too much work for us. Um, but we can give these away to uh, people who might be interested in having some dahlias. 
So uh, that's it. Uh, we're going to show you uh, in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to um, put some more in here uh, and before I cover them up, and you'll see how that spacing looks. So you can see the spacing here. I don't have them all in a straight row. I like to stagger them into these triangles. Uh, so I planted three different types here. I've got uh, Otto's Thrill, which is pink. I've got the uh, Holly Hill Spider Woman, which is also pink. And I have the Snow Country, which is white. So I've placed these pink staggering down here and here with the white background. And I will continue doing these color patterns. But as I said, you can do them any way you want. Now occasionally you will see one of the tubers has broken off and you can just put it right back in with the other tubers and to orientate this so of course the root is down and your pointing end is up just like they are here. Just match them up. So we just put this back down. We have this at the correct place and then we'll just cover these up. I left these exposed so you could see them. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Bob's Garden. Please subscribe, share, and comment on these videos. And remember, be curious, not judgmental.